My experience using ustekinumab in my patients with Crohn's disease has been really quite good. Um, these are patients who have had a high clinical need. Uh, often they're patients who have been through one or more TNF blockers and no longer responding to those medications. Often they've been through uh, immune modulators. Some of them have also uh, had treatment with vetalizumab and no longer responding to that medication. And even in these situations, I've seen patients respond and remit over time. Uh, so it, it gives a whole new mode of treatment to a very needy population. I've also treated some patients who have not been through the roots of other biologic uh, uh, treatments, and actually they respond very well too. The safety profile of ustekinumab really appears to be quite excellent, uh, whereas with the TNF blockers, we know about the black box warnings regarding lymphoma, we know about the risks of serious infections. Um, ustekinumab is an agent for which we have about four years experience in, in the psoriasis population and a whole year on the market with uh, Crohn's disease indication. And the clinical trials as well as the, the clinical experience would indicate that uh, this is a very safe agent. We are not seeing high risks of infections or unusual infections. We don't expect to see that. And uh, we're not aware of any risk of lymphoma with this agent. So overall, it seems to have a superior safety profile. And the other thing that I would add is it seems to be effective as a monotherapy, whereas we've talked quite a bit about anti-TNF therapy as combination with an immune modulator. We don't see high rates of anti-drug antibodies with ustekinumab, at least the way that we're dosing with this drug in Crohn's disease, uh, which makes it very attractive for patients and physicians alike. I'm sometimes asked, uh, what's my personal experience with using ustekinumab in Crohn's disease? And I found it to be uh, useful in a variety of settings. It, uh, interestingly, doesn't have any black box warnings around infection or malignancy. So if you have patients that you're worried about the potential for uh, side effects in those uh, arenas, uh, ustekinumab can be a good choice. Um, the intravenous dosing at the front end, uh, I think, works quickly and is uh, well uh, dosed, and so we find that sick patients that IV dosing uh, can be uh, quite useful. Um, there's evolving experience with uh, fistulas, with seeing colonoscopy healing. If there are skin uh, extraintestinal manifestations, such as pyoderma gangrenosum, or uh, both uh, autoimmune sort of psoriasis or drug-induced psoriasis from anti-TNF drugs. Uh, Eustachinumab seems to work really well for those dermatologic conditions as well as the, the mainstays of the indication for Crohn's disease in, inducing uh, and maintaining remission and steroid sparing. I think in the future we're going to see much broader use for ustekinumab, whereas right now we're often treating patients who are refractory to TNF blockers. It's very clear that this drug is also effective in biologic naive patients. And because of its superior safety profile, I think that we're going to see this drug used earlier in the course of disease and in patients who have not had the experience of lots of other agents. I'm also very impressed by the durability of response. And so I think we're going to see patients staying on this drug for long periods of time to maintain their remission. Um, so I think we'll see that come, and I think we'll also see exploration of its efficacy in ulcerative colitis. There are clinical trials that are ongoing. We don't have the results yet, uh, but the genetics would suggest that this agent should work in ulcerative colitis as well. It's interesting to think ahead to the uh, future of ustekinumab. Some of the questions that we have if you're thinking of it as a first-line biologic, how would it compare head-to-head uh, -to, -head to uh, anti-TNF drugs like infliximab or adalimumab? Would it be similarly effective in anti-TNF naive patients or would it be superior? The signal in the anti-TNF population for efficacy was quite strong and it's possible that it could be superior. So head-on-head -head trials I think will be done and those are uh, very interesting uh, to think about. It's also been tested for ulcerative colitis, and we're expecting to see the data come out on that over the next six months or so, and that could be a whole other frontier for ustekinumab, depending on how those clinical trials turn out.